A former SeaWorld employee is claiming the theme park downplayed the dangers of keeping killer whales in captivity. John Hargrove was a senior killer whale trainer at SeaWorld in San Diego and San Antonio for 14 years. He says that audiences were not aware of the consequences that come with keeping these orcas in captivity. Lawyer, judge, and host of the CBS series Whistleblower, that's Alex Ferrer, met with Hargrove to find out what he witnessed behind the scenes. They performed mind-boggling stunts with trainers like John Hargrove. You know, it was surreal. Nothing at that time in my life, nothing meant more to me. SeaWorld first opened in 1964. Early on, little was known about the whales, let alone how they would fare in captivity. But one thing was sure, the whales drew crowds. But John says he came to realize those performances masked the reality of the harmful effects of captivity. They are being subjected to sunlight without shade protection that causes cataracts and damage to the eyes. They're swimming in chemically treated water. You see them grinding down their teeth on the pool walls and ledges, breaking off their teeth where we have to go in and, and manually drill the tooth. I want to talk about aggression. This is a video clip of, of one of the trainers being aggressed on by a whale. And you can just see he's a, he's a rag doll. I mean, she's just mm -hmm. dragging him down. And he gets pulled to the bottom, brought up to the surface, allowed to get a breath of air and pulled back down again. Mm -hmm. How many times has that happened to you? For me, 10 times. I've had 10 major water work aggressions where whales have grabbed me and pulled me under during my career. The most shocking incident happened to SeaWorld trainer Don Branshaw. After seemingly sweet moments with a whale named Tilikum, we actually have a trainer in the water with one of our whales. Dawn was suddenly yanked into the water and mauled to death. SeaWorld's statement was that it was not aggressive and that he was simply playing with Dawn. No reasonable person would believe it. I cannot tell you how pissed off I am when I hear this, and she's not alive to defend herself. John claims SeaWorld downplayed acts of whale aggression, wanting to maintain its family-friendly image. In a statement to Whistleblower, SeaWorld said, in part, they, quote, provide world-class care and treatment based on the latest and most advanced science and animal welfare standards. Our animal care and rescue efforts are certified, supported, or reviewed by objective third-party organizations. I knew the truth and I just couldn't handle it anymore. And now he's talking. Alex Ferrer joins us at the table. Alex, how does he, how does SeaWorld explain their whales killing the trainers? Um, well, they said that uh, Don Branshaw's ponytail yeah. distracted the whale, may have too. distracted the whale and, and set it off. John says that's absolutely not true. He said all the women, all the female trainers had ponytails and that the whales were specifically trained to be desensitized to ponytails. So he doesn't believe that at all. Mm. Does SeaWorld still have killer whales that they have in captivity? They do. They do. They, they ended their stunt shows with trainers right. and whales, but they do still have killer whales in captivity, uh, they say, for educational purposes. Are, are there other things that John saw there at SeaWorld that he's concerned about beyond the whales? Uh, his focus was mainly on the whales, but, but with regard to the whales, you know, there were a lot of things that concerned him that kept the aggressions, as, as he discusses on the show tonight in great detail. Um, the, they had an artificial insemination program uh, because it became illegal to catch whales in the wild. Uh, so they developed an artificial insemination program, which John says uh, really disturbed him because he says, according to him, they were breeding whales at unnaturally young ages and too frequently, and then separating the offspring from the mothers. I had always heard about the ponytail, too. I want to go back to that for a second. Sure. If she wasn't killed but by accident what, with him grabbing her ponytail, why, was he, why did he pull her in, the whale? Why did he pull her in? Well, John believes it was just another of many examples of whale aggression. They're just and, mad. They're, am they're animals, yes. right? And he, right? And he explains yeah. on our episode tonight why that is, that these whales aggress, in his opinion. Uh, and, and if you look at the autopsy report, you know, the original explanation I heard was pulled in by the ponytail yes. and held underwater accidentally and drowned. Yes. I don't, well, if you look at the autopsy report, there was so much devastation to her body. Nobody, uh, you know. I, I can understand why he disputes that. Alex, thank you very much. Interesting, we talked earlier about g big game hunting and now hear these animals in captivity. And you, don't forget, you can watch Whistleblowers SeaWorld, the case against captivity, tonight at 8, 7 central, right here on CBS. It's a great series. Yeah.